from world corruption to dying and respawning over 7,000 blocks away, I almost gave up. This is the most stressful Minecraft video I've ever made. Enjoy. Hey guys, welcome back to episode 2 to the 1.20 survival let's play series. In the previous episode, I pretty much did a bunch of mining and I built the house. Now in this episode, I want to be sure to do a lot more exploring. The main goal is going to be to find a desert because I feel like that got updated the most out of all the other biomes. And then I also want to try out some of the new archaeology stuff. So I already made sure to make some copper. I had that for the lightning rod. Looks like I got one feather which should be just enough to make a brush tool so that we could actually do the archaeology stuff. I think that is all I need. So I got the brush tool but I think I'm just going to head in this direction. I see some pumpkins all the way over there. I'll be sure to collect those because we haven't found pumpkins quite just yet. And I also do see some dark oak trees. So that could actually be another wood source we could use for building. So I'll definitely be sure to collect some of that. I'm actually not even too far from the house, so we could actually probably just get that later on. And I do see some mushroom trees as well, so I can make some mushroom stew with that and have a pretty good food source. It's already getting dark too, so we definitely have to be careful. I didn't bring a bed. I wanted to be sure to leave my current bed at the house. In case I do die, I will at least still spawn at the house. But maybe we could just make a new bed on the way. We'll see. Where did I see those pumpkins? Were they all the way up here? Oh man, there's a bunch of mobs up here. Where were those pumpkins at? Hello, bro. Please don't hit me off the tree. I hear a skeleton too. He probably knows I'm here. Oh, okay. All right. He's dead. Oh, here's the pumpkins. So it's this direction. I went the wrong way. Be sure just to gather up enough for some pumpkin seeds. Let me just carry on. I am going to be sure to actually definitely look for some sheep. Because, yeah, uh, it would be nice to actually sleep on the way. Well, now there's a bunch of water in this direction. So I'm going to have to be sure to make a boat. Let me go ahead and craft a boat and then we'll carry on. So yeah, we'll be much safer in the water. And I did just remember, if we don't go to sleep at all, then we'll have the phantoms after us. So yeah, we're definitely going to have to go to sleep. And I actually see another village. Let's see what this village has. Oh, they have carrots. Awesome. That's another food source for the garden, which we didn't have already. Let's definitely be sure to grab these carrots. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay, okay. You know what, bro? Come on, man. I'm just trying to... You know what? He has full gold, gold armor, too. He's going to take a while. Ouch. Ouch. Dang. I'm surprised I didn't take more damage than I did. Oh, there's actually a blacksmith here. Okay. Let's see if there's anything good in the chest. All right. So we got a backup chest plate. Awesome. We got some more iron. We got some gold extra apples and we could definitely use this obsidian we actually almost have enough to make a nether portal with that i see an unfinished nether portal over there be sure to check that out and some bookshelves definitely be sure to grab all of this all right what do we got here all right i guess we'll grab that and what is this efficiency two we could always grab these from the chest these are pretty much always here so I'm going to continue on the adventure. Hopefully we find some more villages and other cool stuff on the way. Is that a shipwreck right there? Oh, it is. I couldn't even barely tell. All right, let's definitely check that out. Cool. I always love finding these. They're so cool to explore. All right. Oh, yeah. And then we got a treasure map. That is something we could do on the way. I think the other chest is somewhere over here. Uh, Where is it? Oh, nope. There's nothing over here. There's definitely got to be at least one more. Where is it? We already looked in here. Oh, wait. Did I look in here? Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, it's a diamond. Dang. A bunch of iron. We got emeralds. Wow, we just found a bunch of stuff. Okay, I think I'm going to drown. Hang on. Uh, get back up. Oh, all right. We're good. We're good. Let me go back down. Oh, no. Oh, ah, ah. Oh no, no, this is not how it's gonna end. Get out of here, bro. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Let's be sure to see where the treasure is. I almost forgot about that. Let's actually turn back around and check that out. Uh-oh, hang on. It looks like it's in the water. Okay, let's see if we can find it. It might be a little bit difficult with the water, though. I don't think it's gonna be here, actually. I usually don't think they spawn in the water. Alright, I don't think it spawned in. I know sometimes they don't, so we'll just carry on. There was one time where I cleared out, like, an entire island of sand, and I didn't even find the chest. So I guess in those cases, they just sometimes don't spawn in. Well, so far, no sign of a desert. This is pretty much the complete opposite of a desert. I forgot my inventory's full and my boat is gone. Oh well, we could always remake it. I do not like those guys. There's so many of them. And I think they know I'm here. Let's just keep running. Don't mind me. At least the sun's coming up. So we'll be a little bit safer. I definitely do gotta be sure to find some sheep now. Ah! Ah! Okay, okay, I forgot about this. I forgot about that. <laughs> we gotta watch out for that stuff. This is not good. Oh, I'm freezing. I'm freezing. Oh man, this is actually really not good. This is not good. This is not good. Come on, get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out. Get me out. Oh man. Oh man. Alright, we're now in a much safer biome. We don't have to worry about freezing to death in the snow or suffocating. that just happened that has never never happened to me out of all the years i have played minecraft i have never had a world do that oh no wow uh wow all i did was completely exited out of minecraft on my ps4 and reopened it Started up the world, and it, now it's working. That was, like, the biggest scare I've had with this game. Out of everything, that was the scariest. Because I just started this series for you guys. And I didn't want to end it already. But yeah, out of all these years, all the years, I have never had that happen. I know some of you guys have actually left comments in my comment section about your world's corrupting. But I personally never experienced it until now. And luckily, all I did was closed out of the game, opened it back up, started the world, and it loaded. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. We still have to make... Oh, and the sun is setting. We have to make a bed. I think now... Oh, okay, here we go. I, You know what? Let me make shears. Just so that I guarantee I get more wool than I normally would from just killing one. Because... I think tonight is the night the phantoms will come out if I don't go to sleep. No! The wolf literally killed the sheep. Okay, we got one piece of wool there. And then, and then, and then, and then. Oh no, we only got one. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, we only got two so far now. Oh man. I don't know if the phantoms are going to come after me tonight. Or maybe it's one more night. Oh, here we go. Where the heck did he come from? What the? That's like this. Oh, you know what? His fur already grew back. We're like right away awesome there we go now we'll be safe from the phantoms but yeah still no sign of a desert anywhere hopefully we're actually able to find one i'm just gonna keep on going in this direction until i do find one. Oh look another shipwreck come on let's see what we what the there's no chest on this side okay there's gonna be one in there so oh there's a drowned what's up bro all right he gone Let's see what- Oh, you know what? Let me rebreathe again. Let's see what we got in here. We got a treasure map. We got some books. And we're gonna have to leave these feathers because... Yeah, we just don't have the inventory space. Let's see if the treasure is nearby. Looks like it's... You know what? I think it's all the way over there. Looks like it might be another one that's in the water. So we're probably not even gonna find anything. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything here. Okay, there's nothing here. So we'll just, uh, keep on moving. Oh, there's a jungle biome right there. You know what? Let's be sure to go to that, because I think I do want to make some bamboo wood and use that for the inside of the house. Oh yeah, then there's the melons as well, which I don't think we have collected any of those yet. 
So that is once again another food source for the garden. And you know what? I think that- Oh! I just saw these! That is another item that we could grow. So that means if we're going to be collecting those, let's be sure to also collect some jungle wood so that we could replant them. We can make cookies with the cocoa beans. Let's see if there's any bamboo forest in here. We really don't need a lot. We could always regrow this. Yeah, there's not really a forest that I see of it. But there's a couple little patches here and there. So I got a little bit. That'll be enough to replant. So we'll just head back to our boat and carry on and keep looking for the desert. Because that is still the main objective. That's a desert right there. That's the cactus over there that I'm seeing? Yeah, I think that's a desert right there, right next to this jungle. Where the heck is my boat? Is it over here? Oh, it's right here. Okay. Alright, let's be sure to go to sleep. I think it's... Is it dark enough yet? Nope, not yet. There we go. And now let's go check out this desert. Let's see if there's anything over here. So I'm glad we actually found one. And it looks like it's pretty big as well so hopefully we should definitely find something i see a well over there and i think the wells are one of the spots where you could actually find suspicious sand is it in the inside oh wait you know what i think that's a block right there let's see oh yeah it is what the heck is that <gasps> oh okay that's actually i think one of those little shards that we could find all right, so we found a pottery shard. Cool, I've never done that before. Is there anything else here? Or is that just the one? I think that's it. All right, we found something, cool. Oh, I see another one all the way over there, another little well. Oh look, there's a desert temple right there. Wow, that is like, that's it. Like that's like the best thing you could really find in a desert. Awesome, I can't believe we actually found one. Dang. All right, we'll check that out. But first, I do want to check out this well because I want to use this uh, little brush tool again. Let's see if there's another block over here. Yep, it looks like it's always going to be in the middle. Let's see what we've got. And it's another shard. All right. So cool. We got two of them now. So I thought each shard was going to be different. Maybe that's something else that I'm thinking of. Where it has like the different patterns. Maybe what I'm collecting right now isn't even anything special. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, let's definitely check out that temple now. But man, I just wish my inventory wasn't full. Alright, let's see what we've got here. I know there's definitely going to be some more suspicious sand in these. And that we even have the chest all the way down at the bottom. I don't see any suspicious sand in here. You know what? I just remembered there's not just one chest with these temples. There's four. Let's see what we've got down here. Get rid of all this TNT. Let's see what we've got here. Alright. You know what? Usually I would like to collect all these bones. And the string. But we won't worry about that. We got an enchant- Holy. Wow. We got a golden apple as well. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Let's just go ahead and get that. What do we got in here? Let's be sure to grab all this gold. Since we have a spot for that. And, uh, okay, we got some horse armor. I wish that was at least iron, because the gold horse armor isn't really gonna last that long. But, hey, we at least found some, so if we do get a horse, we'll have that. Let's go ahead and head back up. Well, it looks like the sun is setting again, so I'll be sure to sleep over here. I feel like this is pretty safe. Right here. Looks like a good spot. And there goes the sun. I think it's time. Let's continue exploring the rest of this desert, see if there's anything else to check out. Are. You. Serious. What the heck do I do? So yeah, I wouldn't really mind as much if I had died while actually playing the game. But I was literally in the PlayStation menu when I died. So that's the thing that kind of bothers me. Well... We're back at the house at least, so I guess it's good that I built a house at the spawn, but I am definitely like, I just lost everything. I just lost everything that we had, and I have nothing here. Yeah, this stone sword is pretty much all that I have. 
And there's no way I'm going to be able to run all the way back and collect everything that we just gathered up. Because I am over 6,000 blocks away. I'm going to see what I could do, though. Um, maybe I could still make my way back to the desert because I do still want to explore. But everything that we just had is now gone. So I made it back to where I died, but I don't even see a hole where the creeper blew up. That looks like stuff that I dropped. So how would that still be here? But then where I died, is it even anywhere to be found? Let's just put it all aside. It's no big deal. We're still at the beginning of the series. So it's not like I had a bunch of crazy stuff. I did just find a bunch of cool stuff, but there's, there's so much more. There's so much more we could have had. So, um, yeah, we're pretty much back to... I mean, we have our house. <laughs> That's about all we have. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I wanted to at least be able to see the hole where I died. Like, the hole that the creeper left. But that's not even here anywhere. No way. No way. No way, dude. How? First of all, why am I all the way- I wasn't all the way over here. I was on the completely opposite side of- Wow, I knew it. I freaking knew it. Because it wasn't within render distance, I knew it wouldn't despawn. Look, look at my coordinates. Where our spawn is, like where our house is, is that like- Like that first number, that's 6900, our house is at like 100. We are like 7,000 blocks away from the house. I knew coming all the way back here was going to be worth it. I freaking knew it. I accepted it. I accepted defeat. If this wasn't a survival Let's Play series, if I was not recording these videos and I was just playing like on my own, no recording, just doing my own thing and this happened, I probably would have just stopped playing. I would have... I would have just stopped. <laughs> I wouldn't have continued, but I know this is a series and I can't just do that. I knew there was a slim chance that I'd be able to get everything back. We gotta hurry. We gotta hurry. We gotta hurry. <laughs> we pretty much got everything that we need back. Everything that we care about. The only thing we've really lost was my levels. Like, that's all I really lost. There's a mine shaft right here. Alright, let's see what we got here. Feather Falling 3, okay. Oh, wow, there's another cart right here. Grab all of that, grab that. Lapis, we could always get. We don't need to fill up an inventory slot with that. Glowberries, you know what? We're gonna be back here. We are going to be back here, so this mineshaft, we will explore the next time we come back. I was gonna say, I wanna keep exploring this desert, because it seems really big, and I wanna see if there's a chance to find a village, and there's one all the way over there. This is actually an amazing location. There's a desert temple right there, there's a mine shaft right here, and there's a freaking village right there. I see a camel! Awesome. I have my carrots still, yep, we don't have to collect any of those. Alright, so, for the camel, I think I need to have a saddle on it, and I was kind of hoping that there would be a saddle on them already, but it doesn't look like there is. I don't think there's anything... I don't think I could just... <gasps> oh, well, I could get on it. But I can't, I can't control it because I don't have a saddle. And you know what? If the mine shaft is right there, I could probably find a saddle in one of those chests where the mine shaft is. So we'll be able to do that. But like I said, I think I do want to uh, save the mine shaft for maybe the next episode because I don't want to die again. I am so far 
I don't want to have to run all the way back to get my loot again, and I know the mine shaft is pretty dangerous because of the poisonous cave spiders. I would say, other than the fact that my world almost got corrupted, and the fact that we died, which was very stressful, I'd say this is a pretty good episode. I think what I'm gonna do is head back to the house now, which is going to take me like 30 minutes to run all the way back. Thankfully, I checked my coordinates. Once I reached this desert, I checked to see where I was, how far I was from the house. And if I hadn't done that, I, I don't think I would have been able to find this again. Aha! Yes, you are coming with me! Let's go, bro. You're coming back to a land you've never seen before. You know what? I think this is going to be too difficult. I'm going to have to get a saddle. Because I have to travel like 7,000 blocks with this guy. And I'm not even sure if he can fit in a boat. I doubt he can. And either way, it's just, there's too much terrain. I'm not going to be able to do it. So, uh, bro, you could be on your way. Go on now. Ooh, that looks like suspicious stew. No thanks. But yeah, I'm gonna work my way all the way back to the house. I see the trees. I see my home. I can smell them. Where is my- Oh, there it is. I made it. My beautiful home. We made it back. We made it back. I'm gonna end off this episode here. This was the most interesting episode Minecraft video whatever I've ever made. So, goodbye. I'll see you guys in episode three.